Hello everyone, my name is Shem and welcome to BFX Kitchen. Alright, so today we have a different topic, we are not going to cook anything, but we will talk about your career as a pipeline TD in the visual effect. As I mentioned before, I would like to share my experience as a pipeline TD who worked in different type of studios. We used to do visual effects for movies, we used to do commercials, we're also doing uh, animation movies right now. And from my experience, I think it have to be a little bit more clear what we are actually doing. There's a different type of pipelines. You have pipelines that's actually made for tracking um, the production workflow, like how many shots, how many sequences we have in the movie and what is our progress so far. For this there is already few softwares who is doing it, like we have F-Track, you have Shotgun. But you have to think, if the studio that you are working for is actually able to use one of these softwares to implement it into the production. Depending on the size of the studio and their workflow, they might feel like Shotgun is oversized for their production some of them think that it's kind of expensive to pay $50 per user every month. And personally, I think that every studio needs its own pipeline to be built for itself. It cannot be a product that you sell, actually. Um, at some point, yeah, there is some tools that we can share together, but for production management and stuff, I think if you're working just doing movies, you need to focus more in movies. Like, you have short sequences and you have a lot of like live footages. And... If you are working in animation, most of the time you are caring about the assets, about the, the, the projects you did before, how you maintain always the assets that you used before. Uh, with commercial, it's always different. Every time you get a different idea, a different um, models, a different concept of everything. There is a pipeline for this stuff, that you have to create the asset management. Uh, where are the assets, where I can save it, how it's the naming convention and so on. There's another type of pipelines which cares more about the artist. If the artist is working every day, for example, like modeler, doing, for example, retopology, every time you have to do all these polygons, blocks one by one. It's kind of boring and takes a lot of time. Right now there's really nice tools exist, it's open source and for free, but actually no one knows about it. That requires a specific type of technical director. He's sitting down, artists come to him and say, hey I have an issue, I can do this and that, and he just come and show it to him, maybe he writes a script or a small tool that helps him to finish his tasks. That kind of pipeline TD is actually nice because it makes you feel that you are doing a change actually in the workflow. People come to you, ask for help and you just go and help them. Even personally it feels good. The third type of pipelines which air more about the technology. We have been doing visual effects since long time ago. We've been doing animation stuff since like the 70s. You can see the changes that just came up. I think with the first model of hand that ever made. Imagine like sculpting a hand like this and try to get the polygons to draw it in, in a 3D space. And then you start to animate. Come on. 1972 and you start to make your first hand animation. That's really crazy. And now look what we have achieved so far. At the details that we can reach right now with all these micro expressions, all this movement. It's crazy. So that's a part of pipeline where people are just here for developing the technology. Can you imagine that we can have a real-time ray tracing? That's crazy. I actually tried to create the same as the NVIDIA ray tracing long time ago. So far I was not happy with the result but if you are doing this in a 3D space then you can have more render passes that actually can help. It's really smart how the people think about solving these issues. These people are really advanced in what they are doing. The same like you. You have also a specialized. So don't take it so serious at yourself. Say hey I cannot do machine learning stuff. Of course you can do. Yesterday I was checking 2 minutes paper which is one of my favorite YouTube channels. It was talking about a paper for start transferring smokes. I couldn't actually sleep until I tried out. I started to dig into, into the paper itself and then I found that they are actually providing the code which is super nice. The code is super uh, easy to implement, just like Python, TensorFlow, MantaFlow, easy, everything's fine. But when I had a look over the code itself, I felt like I cannot do any programming. Like, what? Look at this type of code. Hey, look at these lines. Look at these lines. Like, seriously, it's, it's, it's quite complicated. Me, myself, cannot read it. Like, it's just equations. So think about the people who actually thought about, hey, if we did this equation, we will get this result. 
It's fucking crazy. So that's a pipeline for technology. People who look for a better ideas to improve the pipelines. And the last thing that you don't have to mix being a technical director with being a software developer. Software developer is someone who came from a computer science background. He knows how to write nice, more efficient code that doesn't consume too much memory. You are a technical director. You write scripts to solve issues in production. You're not writing a render engine. So there is a big difference. So don't go hard on yourself. It's really cool to have the skills as a software developer for writing a clean code and efficient code, but it doesn't mean that you are a bad scripter or coder when you have when you feel like someone writing a better code. Actually, you can enhance your code, but you just still learn from them. And let's not forget that there's also pipelines for games and also for, for VR and AR experiences. There's a lot of stuff. So don't be scared about being a pipeline technical director. Pipeline development never ends. You'll always have a job. You can still pay your rent. You will survive in the end. So, so that was it for today. I hope it was not so long video for you. And see you next time. Bye bye.